Yeah, so this video was a little impromptu, so you'll have to excuse the lighting situation. This is our lighting situation. I think really what people are wondering, I think the most pressing question is why I'm wearing a hat inside my own house. We just wanted to have a romantic dinner talking about the SBA, yeah, the IDL. That, and that's Tuesday. our idea of romance, talking about the SBA. We learned something that is possibly gonna hinder the 4506 T form and how we submit that. We found out from an SBA agent that they're gonna require wet signatures. To be clear, what? the IRS requires the wet signatures on the IRS 4506T because the purpose of the form is that the SBA is gonna send that out to the IRS transcript of your tax return. It's a quality control measure to verify that the tax returns submitted into file were the same as the returns. Cause you know, you're not gonna believe this or maybe you will. I'm sure People will. actually put fake tax returns in application file. <gasps> No. No, for realsies. Hashtag for realsies. And we have so far submitted those with DocuSign, right? Yeah. Downloaded on your phone. And now we're finding out about wet signatures, which means if somebody doesn't have a printer, they have to go out, which means they have to go to a store, which means that store might be closed. Because of a lockdown. Or maybe someone just doesn't want to go out because they don't want to get sick. I had a couple of conversations excuse me, this afternoon with SBA agents. And I said to them, you know, hypothetically speaking, as one loan officer to you, you know, a lot of people don't have printers today. And if they don't have a printer, they have to go out, which during normal times, okay, you go to Office Depot, Staples, Office Max, Staples, Office Max. FedEx store, you know, Joe's stationery store, whatever. And you, you know, have them printed out. Of course, that's a whole security measure all by itself, right? So you have to have your personal information printed out by somebody at a Staples store. You know, your social security number and your address. That just occurred to me. Mm -hmm. Just now, I didn't even say that to the SBA agents. Holy, holy cow, that's a whole other element. But the other element, which I did bring up with the SBA agents, is a pandemic. These stores may be closed. Or you, like Linda said, you may not want to leave the house. I got to the crux of it, which is that apparently it's not the SBA that's requiring it. It's the folks at the IRS. I had a feeling this was going to happen. I was a little surprised when it hadn't been brought up to date in 10 months. You can get an IRS 4506 and submit it with an FHA government loan, etc. It's This is a new issue, apparently, for the IRS. I'm not trying to be rude, but my chicken thighs with beans and rice is insane. And we literally, I mean, we haven't talked to each other all day. No, we were in separate ends of the house. We didn't go to our office. office today. He has a home office. I use the rest of the house as my office. Sometimes we work from home. A few we minutes, have we have a conference call with one of our most trusted lender resources about the new PPP rollout. So watch our newsletter. And if you're watching this video, make sure you, you know, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, make a comment below. Also wanted to alert you that I almost forgot. The easiest way to find us is our new URL, disasterloanconsulting.com. So in case you don't want to wonder about how to spell Aurora and you don't remember that it's dot biz, disasterloanconsulting.com. If you'd like to schedule a free 15 minute phone consultation with us, run by some questions that might be keeping you up at night, we have a link on our website. Just go to the top and hit let's connect and you will be brought to the calendar to schedule a free consult. I'm Linda Ray. I'm Trevor. We are Aurora Consulting. Financing, Financing solutions, solutions for your, your business success, success story. story. Trevor is eating because he's a slower eater. I have finished mine, which is why I'm doing most of the talking right now. You want to lick the bowl? That is possible.